Poor Chir Fano. Ah, so yeah, let's just do the maths, Fano. Like, if you look around, these are all the par sites, and usually if you see a nice big fucking ballied fucking farmhouse, that's on a par site too. It's already been flattened, you know, the earth's already been moved. These are not natural fucking uh, how the earth was formed, you know, whatever million years ago. These are man made, you know, over a thousand years. The Māori were here, Hapu uh, indigenous. The Ahu people were here on the Pukanui, the biggest fucking part of the fish, you know, uh, second richest place in the world in 1840 next to Australia because it was before petrol whānau, you don't really understand that, before oil, uh, whaling oil, the oil out of their brains or something was how we little lanterns and shit, you can look that up. And so whaling was massive and so for a hundred years before fucking the colonial government was in New Zealand, there were whalers here, there were people from all over the world, Yugoslavians, fucking every sort of nationality, fun. And parts of New Zealand you see different um, nationalities uh, mixed in, like our bro Borovic, all black, you know, different nationalities come here, not just fucking English, uh, there was all the starved Irish from the fucking potato famine when England starved out Irish so they could use Irish as army men to come here. Scottish, same thing. And, uh, yeah, English. But if you notice, usually English get, like, Christchurch, Hamilton, get the name of the town, and the Irish get killed, you know, in the wars. And then, just like now, you know, uh, Māori go sent away to wars on other people's fucking planet, uh, nation's land, while their land's still getting stolen here. Just got the water rights, Marty Money, put the water rights, use as collateral for the graphene, influenza, Bill Gates, roll out. Neat, eh? But if you ask the Ngāti Money to put a trust board about it, they don't know anything. Because they've got money in their bank. If you ask the council about it, they don't know anything. But they want everyone to support them getting their water rights back, which were never theirs. That's the sanity of it all. So what I'm just saying today is just do the maths yourself. Have a look around. You know, you go all the way through fucking Pukanui and all you see is par sites because there was fucking like a million fucking people here and if you read the park here fucking version of history which you should never do but unfortunately that's what happens with capitalism and colonization they got the money you know they got the power and so they tell us our history we'll find out our history Ngāti Maniputu didn't come here on a tainui waka there was migration throughout the Pacific forever tainui has the king kingitanga through, uh, no one knows how they have that, because all the tribes came to the, nearly all the tribes came to the Ngāti Manipoto, Pukanui, second richest fucking place on the planet, for Tautoko during colonisation, so they didn't go to Tainui, they came to the Ngāti Manipoto. Ngāti Manipoto aren't famous for having carvings on their buildings, because they're famous for war. They have the best land, like my bro was just telling me, all the way down to Levin, all the way up fucking north, they got, there were places that Ngāti Manuputu were welcome because they were the protectors. So, the history the park ever told us about shit is fucking killing us. Because right now, instead of the trust board doing the right thing by my kids, they'd rather fucking put a camera on their family. Not me, Fano. There's other people out there, I'm not the crazy one, Fano. Do you get that? There's a lot of people saying a lot more smarter shit than me. So if you think, oh, no, I'm just going to stay quiet, I've had enough of this shit, turn a blind eye, fuck. That's gone, that's been and gone, that was years ago. You're the last ones, killing your own people. You're the last Jewish police, mate. Killing your own people for your oppressor. Same in Ireland, same in Scotland. The cheek to threaten the police on me. Instead of doing your job, it's insane. And that's what they're doing in their whānau. You need to know that 97% Ngāti Manuputu that don't know what that fucking 7% have done. And their 7% don't know what happened. 3 to 7%. They're just getting paid and doing their job. It's a genocide whānau. Well, kia ora, and these are photos from the Koronehana. So this is where older Māori people and Māori come get poisoned by blue mass because no one in the community cares to tell them that the blue mass were found to have graphene in them and this is 
relief funding from the guy that makes graphene telling you about this make-believe fucking thing called COVID Fano. It's no such thing, Fano. There's only graphene poisoning. And it's been done to us by us because you got paid money. Money, that's it. All your knowledge comes from that one bank account, Bill Gates' bank account. That's it. You're all there. Your name's traced back to a bank account. Relief funding. Our insidious reporters, indigenous reporters, reporting for Bill Gates to kill their own family, taking awards, two years in a row of awards. He's sick in the head. These are more indoctrinated humans that fight their own people for their oppressor. These are not heroes. These are the enemy. Like the Nazi money put the trust board. You hate Māori. And no good fucking trying to say different when I can put a fucking coin on my fucking family's head. And I mean like 90 fucking percent of them. And my son and everyone in my family has a fucking graphene cough. And half the fucking family had skin reactions. And the Urupa's full of fucking... Urupa and Cemetery is full of fucking new fucking deaths from heart attacks, lung infections, kidney failures and fucking strokes. And the government knows it. And you're still regurgitating to me. Television adverts paid for by the guy that makes graphene. While you say, oh, this isn't happening. What my bro is doing right in front of your face right now is not actually happening. That is what you're telling me. While I go up to the cemetery and see deaths from this shit. My kids haven't received a fucking cent from being the richest fucking landowners on the planet. The richest landowners on the planet. With the fewest fucking family members, 45,000. On a landmass bigger than England. And you still want to support the government over common sense. Over visual, like seeing my kids sick, coughing, wheezing, skin reactions, complaining to their doctor, getting given ibuprofen. What does ibuprofen do for graphene, Farno? You don't even know what graphene is. We learn how to get it out of us. Meanwhile, the meat works are full of blue mass. The warehouse is full of blue mass. The marae is full of blue mass. You don't even know what's in a blue mask. We were contacted early in the week um, by a group of scientists who've been doing some uh, scientific analysis and microscopy work um, on the Pfizer vaccine, um, which had been uh, stimulated by some overseas reports uh, by groups of uh, you know, very credible and credentialed um, experts, chemists and, and pathologists, uh, who were reporting, um, finding what appears to be very, very, uh, very, very tiny but very complex um, sort of nanoscale technology. There's some big news on a microscopic scale. They're not visible to the naked eye, but nanoparticles could hold the key to treating many deadly diseases. They're a millionth of a millimetre. We can actually use nanomedicine to deliver our packages of, of drugs or chemotherapy directly to tumour cells. These yellow dots are nanoparticles. It's the first time we're actually uh, looking at disease states when it comes to nanotechnology. Australia's chief scientist is hoping for big things from these microscopic particles. As well as cancer, scientists here will also develop treatments for pain management and chronic liver disease. Sophie Scott, ABC News. Here we can see a chart that looks at the total world population over the last several hundred years. And at first glance, this is a bit scary. We go from less than a billion in 1800, and then three, four, five, six, and 7.4 billion where we are today is happening even faster. Another way to see that is through this rate of population growth. And you can see that in the 60s, that reached a pretty high number, over 2% per year. And it's now come way, way down. Now, 11 billion people still a lot, but the good news is that the faster we improve health, the faster family size goes down. And so we can feel great about saving those lives. Uh, and the group in New Zealand have found 
uh, exactly the same thing. So um, I was asked to, uh, to go and have a look um, and I, I, I have certainly satisfied myself that these are not fakes uh, and that these are real people and this is real work. Threading the police on me. Fucking shame. Do right by my kids. You have to fight back. If to shut down their commerce, win the independence for Reliahu like they asked for. And fuck, from what I've fucking seen, everyone's related to Reliahu. All the Nazi money put are related. It's the fucking joke. Post vaccination, and they reported seeing things that they'd never seen before in their very long careers. Yeah. Um, but they uh, they also reported finding. Um, unexpected ingredients, shall I say, in the in the vaccines. Uh, and in fact, there were a number of other scientists and health professionals on that uh, press conference who also reported the same thing. So, um, you know, it's still it's still very shocking when you see it yourself. Mm. Uh, you know, it's important to remember when you're looking at the pictures and the videos um, that uh, you know this is nano scale, which means you know extremely small. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and some of the sort of the behavior of what seems to be machinery or circuitry, um, routers, chips, that type of thing, um, you know, is, is very hard to explain. But um, scientists tell me that, that at that sort of scale, things like gravity and magnetism um, behave rather differently. Mm. And I, I certainly am no expert at all in this area. Um, but having uh, spent a very hurried few days really trying to um, prove up this work and satisfy ourselves uh, that, um, you know, really it needs investigating by by the professional regulators um, yeah. and investigators who are charged with protecting the public um, from possible health risks, risks. And we have to keep rem remembering how, um, you know, this is, this is only approved for emergency use. It's experimental mm. medication. Um, billions of doses doesn't make it uh, any, any less experimental. It, it's no. about the time. And especially um, when the harm that it's being, causing to people is not being followed up in most cases.